uh, he has uh, he has done for Brooklyn in, in general, but especially for the state of New York. So I want to welcome uh, you, John, uh, tonight. That's number one. I'll just uh, I'll just I'll just go around the table and, and introduce everybody, if if you don't mind. Uh, our public advocate from New York City. Um, I know he has a, a, a bright future, and he's here tonight uh, to show support to the community and to myself. Uh, and uh, you're, you're there for what, the one year or even? First year. First year. And uh, it seems that he's there forever now. He's doing, uh, trying to do a lot of changes for the better. And uh, we, we thank him from uh, the uh, Jewish community uh, uh, for, for all his outreach, uh, reaching out to the community, uh, whenever there's an incident, uh, we had a shooting in Borough Park, uh, the uh, public advocate came out uh, and, and, and called. His people, uh, Penny is here, I'm sure, uh, is right there. He's a uh, well uh, uh, familiar face in the community. He calls, he responded to the scene, I met him there, uh, and he said the public advocate wants to know what he can do for the community. So it shows you that he cares, and I welcome him uh, tonight. Now to our uh, controller that doesn't need any introduction. I uh, met him in Crown Heights, uh, Controller Lou. Uh, we, we met in Crown Heights two nights ago. And uh, the warm welcome, I was really amazed, I must say. Um, he's the uh, same thing there for a short while, but he uh, uh, has really shown a lot of uh, um, outreach to the community. He wants to do, he's always there, uh, coming out on the holidays. Uh, his people, especially uh, Penny uh, Hiking, who uh, works now for the fourth or the fifth controller, correct? Is that is that right? Fourth controller. The fourth, uh, fourth. Third. 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 third controller. Yeah, but I, I, he said, remember what he said the other day, I'm the favorite one. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. That right. uh, uh, Penny is, uh, I, I must say, has shown a tremendous leadership when it comes to representing the controller's office. So. I welcome you tonight and thanks for everything you've done. Senator Squadron is uh, the second year in the sukkah. He told me uh, when he got elected, he said, uh, I'll be a senator that will you'll see of me a lot more than, than way more than you think. And this is exactly right. Uh, I, I, I can't begin to tell you what uh, the, the uh, role he has been played with the organizations such as uh, uh, UJO and others in the community that uh, when the time is tough, he comes out, he, he's at least, uh, he shows he cares and he, he really is a, is a person with a heart that um, I'm, I'm proud for him to be my senator and I'm sure my community feels the same and I want to welcome you, Senator Squadron. This is not my district? <laughs> no, I've got your visa, my friend. <laughs> now to uh, my brother. I call him my brother because uh, let me tell you a story, a quick story. Once uh, about, I would say, nine years ago, nine and a half years ago, I get a phone call on a Saturday night. Uh, someone who got robbed in the 88th precinct. Uh, where uh, the uh, community was really not living at that time there. I go out there, uh, I see the detectives on the scene, I'm trying to help the uh, family who got robbed. It was a Saturday night, it was a bad incident. And I bump into someone very loud, takes over the scene, acts like the commissioner himself. <laughs> and I walk up to the guy and I said, uh, sir, uh, I introduced myself and I said, um, I'm Abe Friedman, I represent the Jewish community. And he right away says, listen, let's go to the chase. Uh, I have the shown, I have the facts, I have uh, already four detectives. Uh, he was the squad commander at the 8 precinct about nine and a half years ago as a lieutenant. And ever since I believed in him, uh, I said, Eric, you're in the wrong line. The NYPD is not something you got to stay. You got to go and be uh, somewhere representing the community in the state and statewide. Kelly said that too. <laughs> and uh, ever since, I must say, uh, people, uh, I don't know how to say it, but a large 
the community uh, feedback, once I introduced the uh, senator who was then a captain, he, I then followed him. He was transferred to the 6th Precinct in Manhattan as the executive officer. And we had a good relation. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we, we uh, basically, I would say, or architect his running for Senate. And uh, I could say now that he's uh, uh, involved in almost everything in the community. Uh, he reaches out to me, um, uh, should it be a small incident, a big incident, we just had the Shamram uh, shooting, the four officers got shot. Everybody is thinking, what should we do? All the elected officials, they come out to the hospitals, I would uh, take photos, but that's the end. The senator came a day after and said, I'm going to do something for the community, I'm going to do something for the Shamram. And right away donated it, a whole bunch of... Uh, Bulletproof vest for the Shamram, and I must say it was a true example to the other elected officials and other communities <laughs> to see. And and I could go on. The list is too too long to go on. Eric, thanks for your leadership. Thank thanks you, for your friendship. Thank you. I'm not going to talk long. I'll give everybody a chance to talk a couple minutes. Uh, we have a special guest here tonight from uh, Sullivan County. I was shocked to see him tonight. Uh, he called me uh, to say Happy New Year, and he says, when is the Sukkot holiday coming up? And I, I gave him the date, and then I said, just instead, I said, uh, yeah, I'm doing a little Sukkot reception. Uh, he used to come every year to my late father, who passed away a few months ago, uh, uh, every year in Monroe. And he said, you know what, without a doubt, I'm coming out. I want to show support to you. Uh, the sheriff's record speaks for himself. Uh, the eight weeks of uh, the uh, community being in Sullivan County, you can see his gray hair ready from that, that eight weeks. <laughs> for my children. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, he, he really shows a, a tremendous support and leadership uh, throughout. And he's not just a sheriff for that eight weeks. He's a sheriff uh, that when in the winter time there's six feet of snow, he would call and say, hey, we had a robbery. We had a, uh, in Sullivan County, one of your camps got robbed. Uh, he's the one that looks out and is not just there before a sheriff's election and, and says, you know what, I'm running again. He's there, constantly visited the camps, showing a tremendous sensitivity to everybody. And Mike, thanks for your friendship. It means a lot. All right. Uh, they, they, say, they say under... Uh, they say under every, uh, behind every good sheriff, there's a great under sheriff. <laughs> and that's exactly right. Eric Shabodi, a personal friend who retired from the state police years ago, uh, got a chance to meet him still uh, when he was working in the state troopers. Uh, Eric, thanks for your leadership. Thanks for your friendship. He you just had a baby boy. Let's congratulate him. Where's the breast? <laughs> <It's over. laughs> And now to, uh, I must say, my mentor, my colleague, uh, over in the state troopers, there are, uh, let me just back up for a minute. You know, everybody here in this room, I'm sure, uh, are, are personal friends. We could have just do a party and, and invite 300 or 500 of our guests. Uh, and I have a lot of friends to invite. You guys are invited by being close to my heart, close to my family, and I handpicked you to be in the sukkah, who, which is a celebration of protection that protects us a whole year. We believe by uh, being here and celebrating and eating in the sukkah and sleeping in the sukkah and, and doing everything. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. And it gives us protection throughout the year. So, uh, you know, all of you in this room know what me, myself, and my family went through. We lost our great father, who all of you probably knew him. He touched so many uh, people, and uh, I'm sure he touched in, in, in certain ways everybody in this room. Uh, your friendship, you were out there, your, your support, your leadership, uh, you're showing your tremendous sensitivity and uh, and respect and, and support of my community. I must say I'm, I'm really touched. And why am I saying it before I'm mentioning the next guest is because my father's 35 years career with law enforcement was always to teach his children. He said, 
uh, if God gave you the health and the happiness and the you're able to help give back for the community, give back to law enforcement, show people that you care, <clears throat> and be the, build, the, 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 the person that build the bridge between the community and law enforcement. So my father was working with the state police for 35 years. Uh, when there's a funeral, you saw my father there. When there's a cop or a trooper injured, you saw my father in the hospital. I just met uh, a person that told me, uh, who I didn't even know, he works for the state police, he said, my mother was sick in, in a hospital in Florida, and your father came flying for 24 hours to make sure to visit my mom and my family to make sure that he's okay. This is just, uh, I, I would say, a percentage of the story that uh, he, he, this is the person he, wa he was, and I'm going to continue to follow his footsteps. But the, the state police in particular was so important to him and so valuable. He built up the relation for so many years. He worked with the state police and the state troopers. I always asked them, how come you're with the state troopers PBA? Why, why are you not uh, directly to the state police, which I taught at the beginning that it's a better title, a better uh, way of connect, uh, connecting to the state police. And he said, you know what? The PBA are the ones that care for the troopers. The state troopers PBA are the ones that, when a trooper is in, in time of crisis, the, tr the PBA will come out, show support, lend a hand, uh, do, a, do a fund or a fundraiser or whatever it is for that injured trooper, for that trooper in need. And I want to commend the state troopers president, Tommy Mongia, for coming out here all the way from Albany tonight. Uh, it, it shows to me and to my community such a tremendous uh, uh, caring and loving part of him and this is why the trooper on the street when you see troopers they speak about Tom on gear a total different way of even talking about any commander uh, and, and I once asked one of the troopers I said why are you speaking so highly oh what's the reason give me something he said uh, he cares I know if God forbid I get in trouble or God forbid I get involved in an accident, or God forbid something happens to me, my representative, the PBA, the president, will come out personally or he will send his delegates throughout the state and give me support. And I commend you, Tom, for coming down here tonight. Uh, Bori, uh, I really don't have any words for, for you. Uh, I, I, I promise I'm speaking from my heart. Uh, it's hard for me to express uh, what you have done to my family. I want to thank you for everything. Uh, my father, I could say, spoke to you literally every day, almost, a couple times. A couple times. <laughs> and uh, thank you for being a friend who you are. Thanks for coming down here tonight. Now, uh, Chief Ziegler, who uh, you all know, retired, but he's here tonight because I invited him. I feel that he's a family to us, a family to my community. Chief, thanks for your uh, 30, how many years? Six. 36 Eight. years devotion to the NYPD. <laughs> to the next guest, Inspector Bogies, although you're in the 6 7 precinct, and uh, we know that you will be coming one day here and uh, be a commander. Thanks for your leadership. I want to be the this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be that. <laughs> I know. I know everybody. Everybody has no a. Head now. <laughs> I know everybody has a uh, busy schedule tomorrow. I'm going to have everybody speak, and I'm, I'm asking you, as a respect, to be very quick. So uh, we we uh, we were not a very. Well, I, know, I know the public advocate. The public advocate has to leave. I want to thank him for your. Uh, coming out here. Thank you thank very, you so very much. much. Thank you for all you do. If you want to say a couple words. Just a thank you to Abe for everything he does for the community. This is the guy who deserves a round of applause.